masters in their field. World-class chefs with extreme confidence and incomparable skill. So I was asked for a recipe for fresh home-baked salmon. So here's my salmon, but to get the fresh aspect, let's take a couple steps back. To get fresh salmon, obviously you need to go fishing. And being that I'm not the best at fishing, I decided to enlist some help to work with me and catching a fresh salmon. So we went to Shalom's and bought a fish. Okay, so now that we're back with our piece of salmon here, you know how I got it. So this is actually gonna be two different fish or fishes. One is gonna be a baked dill salmon and the other is gonna be a regular seared salmon, which is a different class for a different day. So we're gonna begin by cutting the salmon in half. This half we're going to be making into salmon for dill. So first we're gonna spray our pan. That helps so it doesn't get stuck. That goes down. The ingredients are very simple. Salt, dill, and a little bit of lemon. Be generous with the salt because that's most of the taste. And it's gonna go in the oven on 350. And about this piece of salmon I would leave in for 21 minutes. If it was the whole piece I might leave it for 22 or 23 maximum. But where it gets confusing is when we try to see if our fish is cooked. Our fish is going to be cooked whether it looks cooked to us or not. So we get it done at 350 for about 21, 22, maybe 23 minutes for an entire side of fish, no more than 24. Have an awesome summer. If you're cooking in the kitchen this summer and you're making something really fun, send me some pictures or videos or the recipes of what you're doing.